Welcome back to the Ajax historical campaign on veteran difficulty. We're back in the time of the Bronze Age, the uh, time of legend that provided the backdrop for the epics of Homer, the fabulous epics, the Iliad and the Odyssey. Let's launch the game. I'm Jeffrey Villardouin. And this is Ajax, Ajax the, great. the son of Telamon. And he is recuperating here. In retrospect, I should have taken him to Megara. Why did I take him to here? I'm not really quite so sure. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's leave him there for now. And if you remember, we have Tusa on his way to... Mykonos to take it back from the uh, from the Trojans. One interesting thing about uh, thing about this time was that there were no villains. Everyone was a hero. There were no bad guys. Everyone was a good guy, even though they were fighting with each other. So that was quite amazing. I must say, at least they are portrayed in this way in the epics of Homer. But also, when you look at some of the diplomatic correspondence, everyone, every king was referred to as a brother, as a son, as a father. People were really in very good terms in those days. There were no bad guys. Okay, so there isn't anything else we can do except go for the change. Of turn. Ah, Hector has sailed out of Mykonos. He's got a plan. Not sure what it is. He managed to survive the encounter. The only survivor. Okay. And out here now we have another offer from Agamemnon for a military alliance. Okay, let's see. There was one thing that I was a little bit unhappy about, uh, and that is that we lost the war subsidies. We get a little bit of a subsidy, but the only way to make presents to each other is to make very big presents. You can no longer make small presents except these interesting war subsidies that you just saw um, in the beginning when I started the campaign, not just a few days ago. Okay, another offer for military alliance. So I would have, I would have wished that we had something more like medieval two total war, where you could give small gifts and they would count for something. We can no longer do that. And then you. You could make small gifts and sometimes get war subsidies, but you could also just make a small gift and it would count for something. You know, it would count as a small gift. It will help in relations, even if just a little bit. Okay, so we have to swear an oath to right this wrong against mining. So whatever they've done, we have to shield the weak. Oh dear, this is not so good. So we are having a drought and uh, uh, we can either ask for help, which will uh, increase, decrease food upkeep for all units, but will give a, well, it will decrease our diplomatic relations with all our factions, with other factions. Conversely, uh, we, yeah, we'll lose happiness, but get, 3,000 food per turn by the overworked fishermen. Now, happiness could be a problem. This is what I was talking about earlier. So this is going to be four game turns. It's not so bad. Faction destroy the Bersians. We destroy them. So let's see what uh, uh, happiness is going to be like. Maybe it starts, starts next game. Starts maybe next game turn. Right now it's plus one. Maybe next game turn will be minus five, will be minus four, sorry. Okay, so uh, we have the option now either challenging the leader of the Beersians, that's an option, or going back home to 
recover strength. Either way, either is a possibility. Let's see, so we're down here already. And we have the option to get the Ajax Wall or Ajax Companions. And I think Ajax Companions is the best unit. Except that I think Ajax Wall uh, could be that they can throw javelins. But Ajax Companions seem to have also more skills. You see down here at the, at the bottom, you know, the right hand corner of this little moving window. They seem to have more skills than the other guys. Oh no, they are the ones that have the missiles, I think. So, in that case... In that case... What is it they have? They have this icon, the second from the right. Okay, I think let's go for Ajax Companions. The only thing is, I'm not sure what uh, other things here we get. So, cooldown of activated abilities, or rage. Melee Defense of Fury Unit. Here we come some breakable mode. Definitely this is the best option. And that's great! Now we have a really good unit. Ajax, Ajax S Companions. A hero's bodyguard unit can be changed in his character panel. Accessible by using the button under his portrait. That's fine. We don't need to change it. This is the best unit in the game. For this faction. So now we have the option to go and seek out uh, the leader of the of uh, the Mainis, who are unfortunately we're not at war with, and we may even have we may even have a non-aggression pact with them. No, we don't. That's lucky. I hope we don't get any strange. Uh, any strange Ever reliable. things like negative modifiers for attacking Truest their friend. leader and Deadly I don't enemy. know where the leader is. How are we supposed to find out where the leader is? Now that is uh, the question. Let's go here. Renowned champion, defeat the fallen hero's army in battle Olius Ilius of the Mines. A rival faction has humiliated. Whoa, renowned plus eight. Now, how do we do this? Uh, I want to defeat him in battle. How do I do that? Renowned missions. How do I go about it to defeat him in battle? This is what I would like to know. What do we have to do? So it was Alias or Oilius. Is he here? He doesn't seem to be. Level, level, army, army. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to find their leader and challenge him? We must challenge him. How do we do it? Renowned champion. Defeat the fallen hero's army in battle. Ilius. Oh, Ilius. How do we do that? On my way. Leaving this place. Ever traveling. What on earth I was supposed to do? Life is a journey. Ah, oh, there he is. He is. Oh, he is. Talking can do no harm. Mm. We have to defeat you in battle, I'm afraid. It wasn't my idea, my friend. We just have to do it.
to have been given this mission. It's going to be, I think, a tough battle. He's got a decent army. And he's in 45 stars. That's probably going to give him some buffs. I forget which. And we're not... We're still recovering our strength. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Okay. Ready for war. Uh, it's gonna be a mistake. Let's go. Okay, no negative modifiers so far. Steadfast zero. Ah, he has retreated. By the numbers. No, my friend, uh, that was a sneaky move. I do what must be done. Bulwark of the Akir. And I cannot reach I him falter. anymore. With knowledge, you can plan your route. And I cannot retrain my units. But the fact that he retreated suggests that he's not as strong as one might think. Give no quarter. Okay. He got away. That's uh, gonna be tricky now. He might go back into his settlement, then we'll have to fight a bigger army. That was um, not a very good idea. Perhaps I should have attacked his settlement. I love a challenge. Okay. Let's go for Sunny Mykonos. Uh, Tusa, this is your time to shine. Oh. Oh yes, right. Let's first do something clever. See who's got a lot of stuff. They've got food and wood aplenty. Not them. Not them. They got plenty of stuff. Ithaca. I, but they're not at war with uh, Troy. Are you at war with Troy? Oh, hang on a minute. Nobody's at war with Troy. It's just Achilles was at war with Troy. Huh? Nobody's at war with Troy. I don't want to drag my allies into a war. Or do I? Who's at war with Troy? Dionysius. Now, Dionysius is an ally. Are we ready to go to war with the Trojans? And the Magnets are out of war. Do they have resources? I can offer them to go to war on their side. So the other option was Dionysius. They don't have resources, yeah. Whereas, which one was it? Whereas the magnets have a lot more resources. At least food and wood. Okay, let's offer them Break out the to go and let's talk. to war. Against Hector. Of Troy. Why not? And give us something or other, it won't hurt. So, for example, 
Change your copper will be good. Change your wood. 200 food. More food will also be good. Since we're gonna raise a huge force, give her the Trojans. The die is cast. We are no at war me. with Troy. Bring the pain. All out attack. How do you manage to get this huge garrison in a couple of game turns? Blimey. Okay. We are. They also have. They also have lots of missiles, like six missile units. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what the range is. 150. What about them? 160. We have the range. We have the range now. We have a better army. So, uh, we have the gods on our side. We have. Uh, Okay, that's chariot units, but this guy, javelin units, well, we have one javeliner, but some of these light units here, they have javelins, they have javelins, 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 everyone has javelins, they don't, but they have, they, no, they don't, they have javelins, Ajax companions, I should change their name into Tusa's companions, why not, I wish I could have done it earlier, so this will be Tusa's companions and the other ones is going to be Ajax's companions. Okay, let's, uh, without further ado, let's go into battle against Hector of Troy. Let's fight the good fight. Okay, uh, we have a missile army, so I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go straight into battle. It's dry. And uh, the question is which way are we going to attack? Let's scout a little bit of the map. So there is no entry beyond those hills. There's an entry point here. It's a small one. There's an entry point there. This is slightly more open. It would suit us to attack around here. This is a very curious element. Hmm, haven't... I haven't hired to attack in this sort of settlement. I had to defend this sort of settlement, but not attack. So, uh, we're just going to bring our army in the middle and just destroy them with our missile units. And so, let's set it up. Let's set it up in uh, pike and shot formation style. I had automated this for... Uh, for Medieval 2 for our 1648 mode. So here, it will not be automated. I have to do it manually, unit by unit. It's going to be a little bit tedious. Okay. Done or something like that. Okay, so we've got the two main units. Uh, then let's put how many? Have? Okay, let's put the other the other unit here. That's a pretty good unit too. Then let's put the light ones behind. Okay, I guess we have to put another one of these medium units. Yeah, we're creating tertials if you. If you don't know what I'm doing, you should watch my 1648 mod replace. Okay, now we're going to take. Uh, who are we going to have at the front? At the front, we have some of these actually, so that's going to be cool. We can have four of these units, so they don't have to skirmish. And uh, at the back, we have the skirmishing units. Yeah, the skirmishing units, 
Sling to the locker and slingers. Two of these, and we'll get one of these over here. The other, so these uh, also one, two, three, one are skirmish. But the two at the front, this one is well skirmish. So put them here, they will skirmish, they go, they go to bother him or bother them or whatever. They'll be like dragoons could have had them on the side or something. Just go and kind of pester them to make them attack. Now um, let's put now these units over here they're gonna be the shock units, they're juggling units. This would be like a Roman uh, a Roman formation. The, uh, okay, so let's get them. And then we're left with two of these units. They're going to be, but they're just going to guard the flanks as flankers uh, instead of cavalry. We can have him just shooting from. I could have put him in the middle, actually. Now that I think about it, but let's put him behind anyway. He can shoot through. Hopefully, he can shoot over them. And we have one extra unit. How did I miss them? Oh, that's uh, that's reserve. Okay. That's a reserve behind Tusa. Now this would have worked better in uh, uh, in, in an open battle. I don't think it's going to work so well in uh, in the siege. But we'll see what they do. They may actually try. Oh, sorry. They may try to to sunny out. Yeah, this is the idea. So, information. Okay, let's see what are they going to do. They may try to sally out, in which case we can keep our formation. All right, so everybody move forward and see what happens. Yeah, let's speed it up. Once we start shooting them, they may be enticed to attack us. Where does his range reach? It doesn't reach yet. Okay, everybody, next step forward. Then just shoot, shoot them from there. They'll hopefully come out. Or oh, they'll just be slaughtered. They don't have the range. It's very sneaky, isn't it, huh? Okay, sorry, I have to put, slow down, slow down, hey, hey, hey. You don't have to go that far, okay? So let's just advance with the whole army now and see what's going to happen next. And you can just stay here and see what happens. You can shoot at him, see what happens, huh? Will they come out to challenge us? By the way, check uh, Missile Diamond 60. That's uh, pretty awesome, isn't it? Huh? Now, it's not so good to have him expose the fire, so I'm going to ret retreat him. I think they're going to attack. 
They're attacking. They're attacking, that's very good. So, let's go back here. Now we're gonna have some nice pack and short. Ah, look, they're coming from behind. That's a very sneaky thing, huh? Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Death from afar! That was a sneaky move. So, what you have to do then is you go and attack these guys. And the rest of the formation is kind of self-sustaining. We don't have to do anything. Everything, everyone else just carries on. You don't. This is the good of thing about this formation. You can just concentrate on a couple of units because, like this, this. you don't have to do anything with your units. They just they just fight for themselves. No, 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 just keep going. Keep going, because you're in the forest, you're fine. The other guys have been chased off. So the only thing is now, you go over here and you charge them. So you can also do the same thing. And you can also do the same thing. And you can just shoot nilly willy whoever you want. So we got, okay. probably wanted the slinger for the um, other flankers, or the marines. Okay, these guys have been routed. No, shoot at him. I didn't do that. Okay, those guys have been routed, so why don't we get one of these guys back out here? Sons of Akia! I'm on it! Okay, we killed one of their generals. Has sustained a wound. Okay, so we kill the other general. That's uh, possibly Hector has been killed. No, Akamas, both Akamas and Hector have been killed. And so now the army has been routed, and uh, that's it. We don't have to do with this kind of formation, we don't actually have to do anything. Yeah, this is a good thing about it. Yeah, so the units fight for themselves. And you don't have to worry and run about and chase everyone. Yeah. And you see our casualties would be fairly light. Hungry, my glory. Go at them. Help me. Let's see blood. Spears. Trained and ready. Bring your fire. Agreed. Slings prepared. Now, and you'll yes! you the Good one to go. Die. For sure. No mercy. You'll never be safe again. End them. Destroy the foe. Spear. Don't hold back. No mercy. Wipe them out. Uh, 
Okay, so you can probably go attack them. And you guys can probably go up and attack him. Hades! Ah, oh, they've all disappeared. Okay, everyone now. And uh, after them. So the enemy stronghold will, enemy stronghold stronghold will fall to us. Okay, um... We had some casualties, but some of these units were already weak to start with. And so I think we did all right. Yeah, some of these marines took damage. Maybe they would have done better if they were more heavily armored. Cowards! Okay, in the battle. Hector of Troy has been slain, has been defeated. I mean, he was gonna come back, but temporarily he's out of action. Tusa has dealt a deathly blow. Decisive victory experience plus 500. Is that all for defeating Hector? Plenty of food though. Occupy. Okay, we can give it back to Dionysia so we can keep it. Dionysia, is it down to one settlement? If it's just down to one settlement, we may give it back to them. They also lost Paros. Hmm. Okay. I love a challenge. Let's just sit here for a bit. Uh, so they probably had this building that gave them a strong force. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's just for now sit on this settlement and worry about what to do later. So I'm going to upgrade that's Miller's. Ah, that's great. So definitely we go for that. Construction Epigories. That's the thing. Mechanos we conquered. Megara and Samada so we're just building something. Fine. And uh, do you have some barters? We do. Uh, let's see what the quick deal situation looks like. Elise wants peace with us, but there's still a war with the Arcadians. The bot get this over with the Botians. Who are you? Up there, up north, they want peace with us. They are at war with it. They're trading with these two factions. I say we have nothing to lose. I mean, we're never going to see them. They're so far away. So, we'll get what you want, whatever you want to give us. So, let's get something or other. Copper would be good. Stone would be good. Wood won't hurt. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, they don't like that. And food wouldn't hurt. Okay, that's what they're gonna give us. Not that much. We've got nothing to lose. Uh, 
Okay, uh, so that was the non-aggression pact. Well, I mean, no, we don't care about this. Defensive alliance, anyone? No? Okay, so I'm going to do the barters offline. I'm going to pose at this point. I'll see you in a short while. And uh, that was, uh, I guess, the end of this game turn. I finished all the barters. There isn't a whole lot else we can do. It's the end of the game turn. We had a battle against Hector of Troy. We nearly had a battle against Oileus of the Mines, but that battle will have to wait until perhaps next episode. Thank you for watching.